Hello guys, how are you? I, I hope you all are doing well at your homes and you all are happy as always like me. Yes. So guys, firstly I welcome all of you to, uh, to my channel, to your channel which is 24-7 Apple. Where today's video will be very interesting because today I have brought a, a second tutorial of my Mac OS. As you remember that if you are my regular viewer that back in June I have released first video on tutorial how to use your mac os if you are a new apple user so now today i have like I, I have brought one second video for all of you where i have shown you this how you can use your mac os in new way like in the second tutorial i have discussed some new essentials of the mac which you which you should use after like setting up your new mac os so without wasting our time let's get jump into the video and i will show you all the things properly all the steps properly so that you can identify each step and you can and you can enable every option and you will understand how to use that particular option in your map let's get started And before starting off the video, I would like to request all of you guys that please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you all will be aware of my latest upcoming videos and you all will be updated with all the latest happenings in the Apple world. If you have done that, let's get jump right into the video. As you know, so like as you all guys know that Mac OS is a very wide system and if you have purchased a Mac, you have purchased with the intention that you want to take a feel of the Mac OS, how Mac OS works, how it is different from Windows and how like a Mac user always stay a Mac user. So through all these, so like through all these tutorials, we will get to know that why a Mac user is always stay like always stay like a Mac user, not a Windows user. So now let's get jump right into my video. So let's talk about our first tip, which is there how you can configure tracking speed of my, of your Mac. So my first tip will be in the settings where you have to go in your settings uh, means system preferences on Mac. And suppose if you're not able to see this icon here, so you can also go to your launch pad and from here also you can launch your system preferences. So firstly I will launch my system preferences and then you can see one option called trackpad. So when you click on the trackpad, so you have to go on point and click. So first my tip is that where you can adjust the tracking speed according to your needs. Where as you can see that like suppose I have put my tracking speed over here. So means tracking speed means that like suppose uh, suppose when you like use your trackpad with your fingers so how much fast you need like all the clicks all the feel that you want from the trackpad so suppose if I uh, click on slow over here so now as you can see that when I'm moving my finger across the trackpad so my cursor is moving a little bit slow it means not little bit too much slow so like when I will increase the speed of my trackpad suppose up to here so as you can see now my mouse is moving very very fast so it's a very great way to adjust the tracking speed according to your needs according to your work so from here you can adjust your tracking speed now the second tip is that how like you can enable tap to click on your trackpad so so there in this trackpad option only where the next tip is that you can enable tap to click where like suppose in the mac when you will purchase a new Mac and like when you set up your Mac OS, so this option will be unchecked by default. This start to click means that like on the trackpad you can open any application, you can open any anything on the Mac with, with just one finger. With, with just one finger click on your trackpad. So like when I have turned it off, so like when I'm clicking on this, so I can't open any of my application, any folder. But as soon as I will click, I will check this option. So now after that, as you can see, if I like select on this question papers of previous year when i will open so now as you can see my uh, my folder has been opened perfectly so in this way you can enable this option tap to click it is because it is very useful in, in day to day task and in day to day life so you sh you must enable this option if it is not enabled yet next tip is that like how you can how you can enable three finger swipe up in your mission control under your trackpad section Next option is that where in the, which is there in the trackpad section only which is more uh, which is mission control like when you will click on the more gestures so you will find some extra gestures like which are present for your map so from here like you can uh, if you like suppose if this option is unchecked so you should always check this option but it is very very useful feature in the Mac because like suppose it will with this feature you can see how many windows you have opened in one 
uh, like how many windows you have open in one desktop so like as you can see in the uh, like animation besides this option that with the three finger swipe as you can see that only one this one tab is open over here so in this way like you can uh, see all the multiple windows which are open in your mac or like in your one desktop like here i have created multiple desktops according to my needs but you can also create one by just clicking this plus option and you can also see how many pages are open so you can you must use this option too next step is that like how you can configure the tracking speed of your external mouse like whether it is wired mouse whether it is wireless mouse it is any mouse except your inbuilt trackpad how you can adjust the tracking speed scrolling speed or like how you can adjust like double click speed how you can like change the some settings in your of your particular external mouse whether it is apple magic mouse whether it is wired mouse whether it is any wireless mouse if you use so for that you have to go on this option called mouse in mouse as you can see that I have connected one of my uh, USB mouse with it so from here also I can like change the some settings where you can see that I can change the tracking speed to fast like this as you can see that when I'm moving my mouse so it's moving very very fast you can select like you can increase or decrease the, like uh, the scrolling speed or anything you can select like, the double click speed so like from here you can change some settings of your mouse so if you have connected if you are, if you use some external mouse with it whether it whether it is wired or whether it, whether it is wireless so from some in the in this mouse section you can click on this and you can change the settings according to you out there next is that how you can unlock your mac with your apple watch like if you're having an apple watch whether it is series 3 or, or later because series 3 or later like supports like they are or like they all are running on latest watch os 8 and and because this feature only works with those watches which are on latest version which are using this latest mac os so how you can unlock your mac with your apple watch let's see it in the screen recording so suppose if you have paired your apple watch with your iphone and now you are because now in the apple like in the apple ecosystem we have this great features that like suppose if we could, like, if we use any new apple device so with the help of icloud and with the help of apple id all that device we can use that device with all of our other apple devices automatically we don't have to like register separately in every device we can use that uh, like we can use a device properly in every other apple devices so for that you have to go in your uh, option called security and privacy and by default like you will see an option over here called user apple watch to unlock apps and on your mac so like when you will click on this so it will be asked like to put your password you have to click your you have to put your mac password and then your option this option will be enabled and with the help of your apple watch your mac will be unlocked next option is that how you can enable some hot corners in your mission control like because uh, uh, because like in mac os you have an option called hot corners where with the help of hot corners like all the like all these four sides of your mac like how you can take advantage of all these four sides of your mac with just dragging your mouse to the particular destination so let's see in the video that magic not magic like the real magic but magic of mac os like suppose in the Mac OS Monterey we have an option called quick note where from here I can like open some quick notes and I can take between in between of my classes my sessions so if you want to like set up some more hot corners so you can also do that you have firstly you have to go on system preferences then you have to click on mission control now the mission control you will option um, you will find an option called hot corners when you click on hot corners so like from here it's by default selected quick note instead of that you can select anything if you want like suppose if I select lock screen so my Mac if I when I take my cursor over here my Mac will automatically get locked so you can select some hot corners according to you like suppose i have started this quick note and now suppose if i want to uh, like select start screen saver suppose if i want to select launch pad now when i will take as now you can see that when i take my cursor over here my launch pad will get opened so in this way like if you want to make your like uh, if you want to make your life easy by using this hot corner so you can also use this hot corners now let's see the control center and how you can like what is the control center what are the controls over there and because control center is a new version of con which is introduced with the mac os big set now it is carried out with the mac os monterey so now let's see wh what different things you can do with, with your control center where now if you like go in this control center so from here also like you can change your sound you can change your display settings where like suppose if i click on sound so like on sound like suppose if you have like uh, connected an external earphone like suppose if I connected my airpods with it as you can see so you can also change the volume controls with this on my airpods like whenever I used to like 
connect my airpods with my mac so it shows the option for the sound too where i can change the sounds of my airpods also and if I, like any apple device or any other bluetooth earphones you have connected with it or any bluetooth speakers so you can change the sound of your systems now next in system preference you can also select uh, like you can also like change your night shift like if you want to enter the night shift mode you want to enter the dark mode or like you want to increase your display like brightness so you can also do it like this if you want to end and from here you can enter the dark mode also now let's talk about how you can customize your control center your dock and according to your needs how you can remove the applications from the dock uh, like from a dock or like from your uh, control center how you can add them now let's see that in a short screen recording so you have to go in system preferences and then, then you have to go on option called dock and menu bar and then from here you will see so many options which are available for your menu bar like suppose if i click on bluetooth when it is showing like show in menu bar so when i, when I will disable it so it will be removed from the here and when, like, when i select it so it will be over here as you can see it has gone right now and now it has come back as you can see my Bluetooth devices so in the deck in this way you can customize your menu bar you can customize your this control center and the last tip is that how you can remove the spotlight search from your menu bar because like some people don't like it some like it i really like it because it's a very useful feature but if you don't want that you don't want that uh, magnifying glass on on your like menu bar how you can remove that let's see in the further screen recording just stay in this option called lock in menu bar and then you have to go in spotlight here you can option see an option called show in menu bar you, you just have to uncheck this option that will be gone in i i guess five to six seconds let's wait oh i i guess like there is some bug in the mac OS which, which like it is not going up but from here like you can when you uncheck this option this menu this uh, spotlight search will get removed yes now it is removed so like there is some bugs in mac os monterey apple work on the mac os monterey so now let's leave it so there is some bugs so like in this way you can remove your spotlight search so guys this is all for this video i hope that you learned something new in this video and this video will be like it's like still different from an older video which i have made so please let me know in the comment section below like whether you have liked this video what do, like what you have feel in this video like what should i improve what should i add all the things you can write down in the comment section below and, and i read and guys i am assuring you that i read every one of your comment i read every comment i read each of your comment because i want to know your thoughts i want to know your like what you want from me to uh, like what type of content you want from me so please tell me in the comment section below so that i can bring that content for you guys so thanks for thanks for watching this video i hope that you really like this video if you really like this video then don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and don't forget to share this video with your peers and friends and let's meet next week with some new amazing topic and new amazing video so for now bye guys take care st stay safe and stay happy as always